Hello, my name is Joshua Mugabe. I welcome you to Fungi Rhizobus Sexual Reproduction. We are looking at sexual reproduction in fungi. So we have here two hyphae coming, growing, adjacent to each other. The hyphae, adjacent hyphae, they put out a protuberance. So this hyphae is growing in that direction. And we have another hyphae growing in this direction. So they put out a protuberance which moves and meet each other. Now they are going to undergo sexual reproduction. When they meet, the tips of the hyphae swell and are cut off by the cross walls. So when they meet here up, you are seeing that the end is swelling. And as it swells, then they are going to be cut off by a cross wall. Here the cross wall cuts them off. The nuclei divide rapidly. So here inside we have the nuclei. You can see those small nuclei inside they are dividing very rapidly. The intervening walls break down and the nuclei fuse in pairs. So what is happening here is that now, the wall which we had in the middle here has now broken. And when it breaks, now the nuclei will start to fuse in pairs. The whole structure is called a zygospore. The whole structure is called a zygo, zygospore. So the whole of this structure now that we have formed here is what we are calling the zygo, zygospore. That is our zygo, zygospore. The zygospore wall thickens and the hyphae shrivel. So here we have our zygospore. It is thickening. That is our zygospore. You can see that it is thickening. But the hyphae when you look at the hyphae, they are shivering. They are reducing in a size. For them, they are reducing in size, but the zygospore is thickening. The thick walled zygospore can remain dormant for a few months and can withstand drought and extreme temperatures. 
So it can stay here for a longer period of time or month and it can withstand drought and extreme temperature. In suitable conditions, the zygospore germinates to produce a single vertical hyphae, which form a spalongium and releases its spore. So we are seeing our zygospore here under favorable condition, it develops a vertical hyphae and this vertical hyphae on top it forms as a, a spolangium now this spolangium is where the spores are formed then these spores are going to be released and then they will fly out. Sexual reproduction takes place between two different strains of rhizopus. So here we have seen we have two different strains of hyphae which come and align alongside each other then after that one they will send out a protuberance and this protuberance will meet and when they meet then we say sexual reproduction is taking place. The strains are visually indistinguishable but may have different physiology. For example, one may be able to digest organic matter better than the other. So when you look at them, you may not see a difference between the two strains but they may be different in such a way that one of them can easily digest organic matter compared or better than the other strain. Sexual reproduction is beneficial. Characteristics like this may be combined, leading to a more successful strain of a fungus. So one of the advantage of sexual reproduction is the mixing of genetic material which may cause one of the strain that is produced to become a successful strain of a fungus in the environment. Thank you very much for participating in Fungi Rhizobus Sexual Reproduction. Please do share, like, and subscribe.